Hello, welcome to a backup session. This review is going to be on Marie Force's Green Mountain series. I read the first six books and then I went to her website to add it to the description of this video and found out that she's written two more books for this series. I guess they just recently came out so they weren't added to the Goodreads list and I didn't know about them yet so I'm gonna have to read those. I've done reviews from Marie Force before on her Treading Water series and I absolutely loved it so check that out. This series though is completely different and I absolutely loved it. Truthfully the writing style in this series is probably one of my most favorites that I've read recently because Marie allows each character who needs a chapter to have a chapter. Even if let's say we're in the very first book which is Willa Cam's story. Hunter and Hannah actually have a chapter in this book, which is perfect because the way that Hannah was able to start her story in Will's book really puts a seamless grace through the stories, and it always continues that way. There's actually chapters where Molly, the mother of all of these children, will get a chapter. You're definitely going to hear from Lincoln. At the end of every single book, Lincoln has a chapter where he's speaking with his father, and I think that's precious. Essentially, He's trying to see his children settle down and so I guess in a way this entire series is his fault because he tries to push his children a little bit to get them settled down and find their love. I think that he's been so happy with Molly, he wants that for his children. The setting for this series is absolutely precious. It's this small town in Vermont. They don't have any cell phone signal and then you have this family running a family business. They run a store. Each child brings something in. I'm not going to go through all of them but you have Hannah makes jewelry, Colton makes maple syrup, Hunter runs all of the money, is the accountant basically, Charlie is the person who does all the inventory and keeps track of all the items they sell. Anyways, the point is, is that this family is a very close-knit family. They work together, see each other every Sunday. My favorite part is that this series is not about dark, deep secrets or anything really crazy going on. For the most part, it's just about those hiccups that happen when you're falling in love with someone. There's a couple of relationships where the person lives in a different place. And so who's going to move? How are you going to make it work? There's uh, oh, Hannah. Her last husband passed away. So she's kind of figuring out how to move on. Megan and Hunter are quite interesting because Hunter's in love with Megan and Megan is in love with Will. Although Will does not return those feelings. I guess my point is, is that the storylines are entertaining and fun, but ultimately they're quite light. And so it's a fun read. You're not going to cry. You're not going to get depressed or anything like that. And I think that that's one of my favorite things about this series is to me, it was relaxing. It was something that I really honestly enjoyed reading this summer because it didn't drag me down. I hope you all read this. Oh, it is available on the Overdrive app. Not all of the books, but I think at least the first six. So please check them out. There is a wait list. So you're going to have to put them on hold, but it's definitely worth that wait. Also, I'm going to put Marie Forrest's link as the first link in my description. So if you'd like to buy them, go ahead and check them out that way. If you like this review, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave that down below or email me. And if you want my reviews every week, subscribe. Thank you all for joining me. I will see you again soon. Have a great summer.